pipe's not really meant for chopping. I know you guys are pulling at the hair like what's in the box but so this is the sheath of the combat uh combat african knife um as you see i i've been putting my own little sprinkles of love on it um so it's a kydex sheath uh with mad belt clips because they're very angry okay uh what's good about this is they're flexible you know what i mean they're really flexible uh, I, I don't know the story behind the mad uh, belt clips. I'm not versed in, in mad belt clips that well. So if you guys know, leave a comment down below. Uh, but this is the sheath. This is how it fits. Um, the cross snap here. It fits very nicely. You know what I mean? If it's as you see, I'm well practiced in this motion. So this is this is this is this is a good this is a good sheath. I, I like the sheath. Um, it fits very nicely. Got that little snap. Uh, and again, you know, it, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So I'll flip it so you can see it. As you see, it's form fitted. Again, I try to make it my own, you know what I mean? Uh, so, I, I do it to most of all my gear. I try to make it my own. So this generally goes on my vest. Um, the, I don't use this as a survival knife. I don't use this as like a bushcraft knife, so to say. I use this as a tactical knife. Uh, I throw it right on my gear. So, I just wanted to show, first off, show off the sheet before I get to the before I get to meat. So you guys have to deal with the potatoes and then I'm gonna get to the meat. So without further ado, here's the knife. History inspired the design of this knife. Yeah. So this right here is the Combat African knife. Uh, it is a badass knife. It's a great fighting knife. Um, survival? <laughs> I. Yes, you can use it. Obviously, you can use any knife for survival, uh, but you know, spark and fire steels and all that. Uh, it, it's it's pretty hard because all the edges are pretty much rounded off. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're they're really all rounded off. So so it makes it hard sparking that fire steel. But why don't we go through the specs of this knife? Okay, so the overall length of this knife is twelve inches. Um, the blade itself is seven inches. The cutting surface of this knife right here is, uh, it's like six and a half, a little over six and a half inches. Uh, the handle scales are G10. The thickness of this knife is, is point, point 270, 270 inches, quarter of an inch. The weight of this knife is just over 14 ounces. It's like 14.3 ounces. So that's pretty impressive. Um, the metal is is 80, 80 CRV uh, with a hardness, with a rock rail hardness or hardness scale, hardness rock rail scale, uh, 58 to 60, which is great. Um, so the metal. This 80 uh, CV, uh, C, whatever, whatever. It's great metal. It, it, it is. So if you were to put 1095 hybrid, high carbon steel on a scale, it would be good. You know, this is excellent. This, this seal is just excellent. Um, yeah. And uh, it's a good looking knife. And if you, and if you, so here's a standard. How the standard blade, you know, it goes up and down. 
you know what I mean? And where this knife, you see, it's like more at an angle. So you can really get a good penetration on a cut. This knife was designed for fighting. Um, <laughs> without a doubt, you can definitely see it. So this is just straight up and down. The comfortability is great on this knife. Uh, take a look at the scales. It's a great knife. Really, really good knife. Really gorgeous. Now, can it hold an edge? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it can definitely hold an edge. Definitely, definitely hold an edge. Um, price point, excuse me, sorry. Price point for this, like you're looking at 350 bucks, maybe, maybe more. Flat out. It's crazy. This 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 knife is nuts. You can get knives similar to this style for like forty bucks. Um, I think uh, I think Ontario Knives makes a makes a Raider knife. Uh, no, no, not a Raider knife. I'm sorry. The SP1 knife there. Um, that's forty bucks. At least last time I checked, it was forty dollars. Which it's been a while since I checked. But this knife is $350, it, and I think it's going up. This is no joke. You know what I mean? This is this is this is no joke. But look, you're paying for like quality. I, I don't mean to make uh, RMJ's head grow even bigger because you know their, their heads are probably huge right now. But it's a good knife. Is it worth $350? Fuck no. <laughs> But you're, pay, you're paying for craftsmanship. And, and that's 90% of it. I, it, it $350 is for a fighting knife. Man. I You know, that is that's that is a little steep. Um, but I pulled the trigger on it. I, 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 don't, I don't feel sorry about it. It's, it's a good quality knife. It's a very good quality knife. I mean, look at it. The blood groove. The blood groove. The infamous blood groove. Yeah, you get all kinds of shit about the blood groove. People talk shit about it all the time. Ooh, why are the blood grooves there? This even has blood groove in it. You wonder why the blood groove's there? I don't know. You guys probably already heard it like 500 times already. Let's make sure the knife doesn't stick in the body. Because it's suction. That's so stupid. I don't know who made up that thing. That is dumb. Obviously, whoever thought of that never stabbed anybody. I can tell you this right now. Blood groove's there for weight. That's all. That's all it's there. It's just to cut down on the weight. Um, plus, it just makes the knife look sicker. In my eyes. I mean, it is a good knife. It does, it holds an edge, man. It really does. Now their tomahawks are made by the same steel. Their tomahawks, I have one of their tomahawks. And it's, it's sick. It is sick. That's my, it's my favorite hawk. But yeah, so I just wanted to show this thing off. Um, Yeah, you know, show it off. It's, it's a good knife. I don't know what you what you guys think about it. Uh, <laughs> this is like a hundred bucks, and this is like three hundred and fifty. <laughs> like you take this out, you sketch ball and using it because <laughs> you're afraid you might chip it or break it. Three hundred and fifty, Jesus. I mean. That's just, that's no joke. Like this, even $100, you know, I'm afraid to, that's why I don't baton. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you break this, that's it. Especially, especially when you're out in the bush. You break your knife, that's it, you're done. I mean, you can make, you can make other knives. But still, your survivability just drops. 
But this, this, this is this, this is the carve. I mean, it's hard to explain how this knife feels in your hand, but it is very comfortable. See, see how, see how it's angled. See, I'm holding it straight. It's angled like 10 degrees. I mean, this thing is meant to just slash, man. It's the maximum cutting power. <laughs> you could definitely carve some meat with this. I mean, for real. But it's a great knife. Um, so yeah, that's my video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, Vermont Survivalist. The RMJ Combat Africa Knife. Thanks for watching. Good to go.